KPIX 5 News begins with a surprising way cell phone companies are using churches to build their new cell towers and bypassing the normal review process. Good evening. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. They are unlikely business partners, but Verizon wants to do a deal with the Santa Rosa Church. KPIX 5's Emily Turner on why cell phone companies are now seeking a higher calling. Emily? <laughs> that they are, Martin. In fact, the cell phone tower we're talking about would be in a steeple that would be built right here along the side of this church. It would go more than 60 feet in the air, and all of this would be built right across the street from all of those houses. This church in the middle of a Santa Rosa neighborhood has become ground zero in a crusade against Verizon. My first thought was, why is Big Brother here, and do I want Big Brother in my backyard. Right across the street from Colin McCauley's home is Community Baptist Church. It's gone 50 plus years without a steeple, but now it and Verizon aim to change that. The church would get a 62 foot high steeple, complete with a cross and six cell phone antennas. This is what Verizon says it would look like. And this is a similar steeple Verizon built and paid for earlier this year at a church across town. A 60 plus foot tower looming over my house would be seen from all angles. My front yard, my side yard, my backyard, even the yard furthest from them. So I just don't want to have a commercial enterprise looking over my house. Because the antennas would be building mounted, the permits for it are classified as minor rather than major, meaning it goes before a different review authority, has a different public notification process and appeals process. It also doesn't require a neighborhood meeting, though the city required one knowing cell towers are controversial business. But not all neighbors are opposed. I think it's acceptable that Community Baptist Church takes that leap forward and ensures communication for this area. A Verizon spokesperson says service in the Santa Rosa area has consistently ranked low for coverage, a fact made clear in October's fires. This tower, Verizon says, would improve cell service for those living on the east side of town, something those in favor say is worth it. Communication was down everywhere for all of us. I could not reach um, my former spouse or my 13-year-old daughter during the firestorm for nine hours. They were unaccounted for. Possibly if, if, the, if the cell tower was up in their neighborhood that did not burn, I could have reached them and been reassured that they were okay. So for those who are concerned about the skyline or their cell phone coverage, the public comment portion of this is open because that application has been submitted, although it is not complete at the moment. And I did talk to the planning department and they expect this whole process to last about eight weeks as an estimate on when they will finally have a final decision. Alan. And Emily, this isn't the only cell phone battle in Santa Rosa right now. No, in fact, there's another one, and some would argue that one's even larger, although on a smaller scale, because Verizon is looking to put more than 70 smaller cell phone towers on utility poles, whether they be PG&E or city uh, lights, et cetera, and there's a whole battle raging over that whole process here in Santa Rosa as well. Oh, Alan? What price to pay for better service? All right, Emily, thanks so much.